builder's level is focused on a graduated stick called a Philadelphia rod with markings divided into feet and decimal parts of a foot. So in our diagram, this is the builder's level and we actually have three red Philadelphia rods. One, two, and three. The first siding is on a measurement above a fixed reference point called the benchmark. So our benchmark is this point here with a known elevation of 105.5 feet or 105 and 50 hundredths feet. Let's take a look at our questions. We first want to determine the height of the instrument, which we can think of as the elevation of the builder's level. Next, we want to find the elevation at point A, the elevation at point B, and then find the difference in elevation between point A and point B. So let's start by determining the height of the instrument, which again we can think of as the elevation of this builder's level, or the builder's level line of sight. To do this, we'll be using the benchmark as well as this first reading. If the benchmark elevation is 105.5 feet, that means the elevation of the builder's level to this point here would also be 105.5 feet. So if we take the benchmark and we add the first reading, which would be the distance from the line of sight to the benchmark, which would also be the same as the distance from here to here, this will give us the height of the instrument. So we'd have 105.50 feet plus 4.75 feet. Remember, when adding decimals, we want to line up the corresponding place values and the decimal point. So we'll bring the decimal point down, and then we'll add the corresponding place values from right to left. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. So we put a 2 in the tenths place value and carry a 1 to the ones place value. In the ones, we have 1 plus 5 plus 4, that's 10. So we have a zero in the ones place value. We carry a one to the tens place value. We have a one in the tens and a one in the hundreds. So the height of the instrument is 110.25 feet or 110 and 25 hundredths feet. So again, we can think of the line of sight of having an elevation of 110.25 feet. This is important because this will help us find the remaining elevations at point A and point B. So to find the elevation at point A, this point here, notice how the elevation to this line of sight again is 110.25 feet. And the elevation that we want is below this, and the length from the line of sight to point A is the reading of 6.23 feet, or 6 and 23 hundredths feet. So to find the elevation at point A, we'll have to take the height of the instrument and subtract the reading of 6.23 feet. Again, lining up the place values on the decimal point, bring the decimal point down, subtract from right to left. So 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, here we have a zero in the ones place value, so we can make an exchange here with the tens place value. If we take one from here, this would be zero, leaving us with ten ones. Ten minus six is four, and then we have a zero and one. So the elevation at point A is 104.02 feet, or 104 and two hundredths feet. Now we'll find the elevation at point B. Again, point B is here, so to find the elevation at this point, we'll take the height of the instrument and subtract the reading here of 3.92 feet, which would be this distance here. That would give us the elevation at point B. So we have 110.25 feet minus 3.92 feet. Bring down the decimal point and we'll subtract from right to left. Five minus two is three. Here we'll have to borrow or exchange all the way over from the tens place value. So we would change the one to a zero. This would be ten ones, but we're gonna exchange a ones for tenths, so this would be nine, and this would be 12 in the tenths place value. So we have 12 minus nine is three, 
9 minus 3 is 6, and then we have a 0 in the tens place value and a 1 in the hundredths. So the elevation at point B is 106.33 feet, or 106 and 33 hundredths feet. Notice how point B is higher than point A, and that's good because notice how the elevation is greater at point B than point A. Now let's take a look at our last question. We want to determine the difference in elevation between point A and point B. Since the elevation is higher at point B, we'll take the elevation at point B and subtract the elevation at point A. So 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 0 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we can say the elevation at B is 2 and 31 hundredths feet, or 2.31 feet, higher than the elevation at A. I hope you found this helpful.